Well, we're just eight days out from the Republican convention in Cleveland, and Donald Trump has announced there are no more speaking slots available. So who are some of the big names he has picked to speak, and what can we expect from them when they do? Joining us now from Nashville is the latest speaker tapped by the Trump campaign, Tennessee Congresswoman Marsha Blackburn. Congresswoman, it's great to see you this morning. Good so, to see you. So I've been to a lot of conventions. I can't think of one about which we knew less. Do you think that is, is everything under control? Is it organized? And what can we expect? Who's going to speak? And what are you going to say? Oh, Tucker, let me tell you, I'm going to be there working hard and enjoying every minute. And yes, I think this is going to be must-see TV for people. It is going to be a different type convention. The RNC, Reince Priebus, his team, the Trump campaign, they are doing a great job. And I think it's going to be very important from all the decision and I'm not going to want to miss it. Every day they're going to be tuning in to see what's happening next. So what do you, if you could boil down your most basic theme in your speech, what's it going to be? You know, I'm going to probably focus on issues that deal with women and issues that we're looking at for the campaign. Uh, also focusing on making certain that Donald Trump is the next president of the United States. I cannot imagine that the American people are going to hire someone like Hillary Clinton who has been found to be careless and reckless. And uh, I, I can't see them trusting her with the nation's secrets any more than I would trust uh, hiring some Somebody who had been found to be reckless and careless, to be a babysitter, a banker, a nurse, a doctor, a teacher, uh, the list goes on and on. You yeah. just would not hire that person. So there's so much craziness going on in the country right now, and events really have taken a dark turn in the last week. Are you nervous yeah. about what might happen at this convention? I mean, every discontent in the world is going to be there. Yes. Are you concerned? Well, you're right about that, and I think everybody is concerned, and we all are concerned for safety at both conventions and for the American public at large. I do feel uh, certain that the police force in Cleveland and the Capitol Police are going to do everything that they possibly can to make certain that it is a safe environment and that the American people have the opportunity to focus on issues of the day, national security, jobs and economic security, retirement security, which is a top issue for women, access to health care for veterans, which has long been denied to too many veterans in this nation. So rumors are you're on the VP list. Are you? Would you take it? Have you been uh, vetted? There are all sorts of rumors that are circulating out there. I think one person knows who's going to be the VP, and that is Mr. Trump. And my job is to make certain he's the next of the United States. Have you, I uh, think uh, have you submitted uh, vetting documents? I have not submitted vetting documents. And I know that there are lots of rumors that are out there. Tucker, it is always encouraging when your uh, colleagues on both sides of the aisle and pundits say, you would do a great job, and I consider that to be an honor. And I'm going to be there to do my part to be certain that he wins. He has the experience, the toughness to do yep. the job. We need someone who is a leader and a decision maker, and Hillary Clinton has proven she is not a problem solver. He is. Congressman Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee, we'll see you in Cleveland. See you there. Thanks. Sure. After yet another night of violent protests, what are law enforcement leaders telling their officers this morning? We'll go right to the source and talk to three of our nation's sheriffs and chiefs in a special panel. That's not want to miss it. And then a different kind of prison break. Three inmates escaped from jail to save someone's life. They rescued the guard, keeping them behind bars. It's an amazing story. Stay tuned for details.